Um, there are eight traitors, uh, eight people who have sold out this country. And uh, I want them to know that this American citizen is going to target them in November of 2010. And the eight are Scott Murphy from New York, from the Albany region, Cosmos from uh, Florida, from Orlando, Alan Boyd from Florida, from the Panhandle, Markey from the Denver region in eastern Colorado, Bossieri from Columbus, Ohio, and Nye from Roanoke, Virginia. There's also Gordon, but he's not running again, from, and Kucinich, but he's always been a leftist. Those all voted no. And then when push came to shove and their vote was needed, they stopped lying to the American people and they switched to yes, which they were for all along. We're going to follow those people. We're going to follow where they get their campaign money. We're going to follow what federal appointments and patronage they get. And we are going to defeat them in November. So, Dick, you think, though, there has been some behind-the-scenes shenanigans, deal-making, that this is not just an honest change of heart and conscience? You know, my, my boss, Clinton, was accused of selling the Lincoln bedroom. Obama's selling the federal government. <laughs> the, the patronage, the deals, the, uh, the, the, the water rights, the expenditures, the carve-outs, the exceptions, all of this stuff that's going here is nauseating, and most of it we won't know about uh, for the next, for next month or two. But, Dick, to be fair, uh, there's always been deal-making. Deal-making is a part of how legislation gets passed. So what is so different about this deal-making in this bill? Well, first of all, you're passing a bill that the majority of the people don't want. You're passing a bill that a majority of the Congress doesn't want. And they're making individual deals to help individual members with giving them, in effect, bribes. Uh, so far, they're honest bribes, but we don't know yet, uh, to get them to vote on their point of view. And I hope that these deals include some retirement benefits for guys like Congressman Nye and women like Congresswoman Cosmos and Alan Boyd up there in the panhandle, because they better count on retiring after the 2010 election. Dick, I want to thank you very much. We're going to be watching closely and hope you will tell us what you find out. I hate out. to sound like the wide world. I hate to sound like the wide world of wrestling, but we're coming for you. <laughs> you know, I want to see you in the ring with some of these guys, Dick, because I know how ruthless you can be.